Hey, good morning. This is Robert Davis back with you. Um, one of the things that I promised to do earlier uh, in an earlier tutorial was talk about relational database development with Delphi. And um, I'm going to use Microsoft Access again. It's one of the most common relational databases in use today. And the version of the database that we're going to use is probably one of the most common formats in use today. <clears throat> and um, folks uh, can run it on virtually every Windows machine out there. And to talk about the database, let's go over here to Access and open the Sharp MDB then. Stands for a School Health and Records Keeping Program, a database program that I'm developing for school health. And right now we have two databases, I mean two tables, and um, we'll have m many more for various other um, subjects that go along with each student. But in this case, here's the demographics table. See, it has all the demographic information. And it also gets an ID number assigned by Microsoft Access. When you put in a new record, it puts a unique ID number in there. Uh, this is what it looks like in design view. <clears throat> all your fields there. You can do lots of stuff down here with the uh, the general tab to set different let's put that back to data sheet yeah. and I'm just going to mess with the first two records of the database you get the drift and then the other table right now that we have is immunizations now you see it also has its own ID field that access takes care of we don't need to use either this one or the one in demographics with the exception of when we relate the table you see this demographics ID field um, gets the ID number from the demographics table and places it in there for you so that this table can relate to the demographic field and I'll show you what I mean so let's close this so we don't get any uh, weird errors thrown for so it's open somewhere else. Um, we'll go to Sharp here. Project. And you see it's School Health and Record Keeping Program. And, um, and that's not the one I wanted. I'm sorry. We'll close that. We want the relational tables. So what I've done is create this main form Delphi and Relational Database Tutorial. Um, also did look and feel. I'll just run this real quick so you can see the diamond uh, style. Uh, this is my Norton uh, life log and it gets cranky about some things. So, suspicious action, because I tried to open my database. Sorry about that. Okay. I'll oh, see, that's not going to work, because it didn't open anything. Oh, they say it's already open. Let's see if we can solve that this way. We'll go to ADL Connection 1 and we're going to disconnect it. So you see all the stuff goes away in the different fields and the grids and stuff. Um, let's go to Form Create of Form 5 on Create. Here we go. And we're going to simply say 
ADO connection one open. ADO table one open. ADO table two open. And that's all we need there. And let's do one other thing. I will say on close. AD, <laughs> ADO connection one close and application terminate and that's all we need to do uh, when the forms created it opens our connection our ADO connection and it opens the two tables that we're using uh, the data um, <clears throat> connections are are uh, maintained internally and then on close we close that DO connection one that's all we need to close because that automatically closes table one and table two okay let's go back to the design and see what we've got going on so you see in the upper half what I've done is I've used components to get a hold of the um, fields for table one which is demographics so you see that looks a little bit like demographic data might look and then down here I use table two to get in this case the immunization data and what I'm going to show you is how to relate that to the demographics table and in this case what's going on is the demographic will accept input data input uh, for immunizations based on the ID number that is automatically placed in the demographics ID field of immunizations and maintains that relationship throughout. So, uh, and the way we do related tables is really simple. Don't make more of this than it is. You just select the data source that you're relating to, master source, which in this case is data source one and that's the only choice you get and then you set the master fields you get this little wizard which is nice and you select the demographics ID of the immunization table so that it matches the ID field of the demographics table and you click OK and so we have a grid here we don't have these fields there except this one which is notes and uh, that's related to immunizations so let's run this and see what we got if Norton don't let us uh, Let me check this connection real quick. Okay, let me close this briefly. We'll save the changes. Reopen it. Sometimes that's what it takes. Well, it's not open in access. Uh, one more thing to check. That would be this. 
we'll close this and retry this there it goes there it goes so you see here's in the upper half is the uh, demographics and see now that we set the relationship as you scroll the demographics the immunizations update and also notice the note per immunization that you have so as you scroll this down to my lovely bride Linda um, you get some of her immuniz immunizations and that's where we make our money with related tables um, for immunizations well each state has different requirements so it may not be enough to have 10 immunization fields in the demographics record and you wouldn't even want that uh, because some states don't have near that many and some states have more so how do you know how many uh, how many immunization fields to put in the immunization table in I mean in the demographics table so in this way you can add as many immunizations as you want and if you don't have any say for instance Ralph Martin Beal here he doesn't have any so we don't keep any Linda has four I have four different ones and you see the notes update for it's uh, for each field in the immunization table you can have a note and we'll say we'll say second COVID-19 vaccine and if we scroll off of that go back up here to measles mumps and rubella this Norton I don't know I don't know why it does this it doesn't give much of an explanation either um, here's the original note they had in there and if you scroll down you see there's no note there no note there but there is a note there um, so the immunizations table is real tidy and tight and it integrates with the demographics perfectly and I'm going to show you let's look um, at what this right now is uh, kind of boiling down to and that is the sharp school health and records keeping program and I hate that some windows deal for application defaults anyway and um, what we've got going on here is all your demographics are on your first page of the tab notebook and then you see here's the demographics that work immunizations that work and we'll have other tables as you see here by these except notes is the demographics note so uh, that's what we're working on for now and then um, in a uh, also uh, what I'm going to do is add the uh, functionality for exporting records student records complete with their related tables um, that you could uh, save an XML file and email that to their next school and they can import that XML file uh, I, and I could even use access database there's so many features of the import and export components so that's what that'll be good for 
let's go ahead and close this and go back to our relational tables but once again don't let this get the better of you here's the related table ADO table 2 which is the immunizations table and the only thing you need to do is select your data source and select your master fields and this is what happens you know as a matter of fact let's um, let's delete this so I can show you this wizard how it works the detail fields are in the immunization table which is showing here and we want to the master field for the ID to match add that okay you're good to go and we get this it works every time see it's still there second COVID-19 vaccine so anyway that's a brief introduction to using relational tables with Delphi and um, in a subsequent tutorial I'm going to also cover how to use Fast Report 6 with Delphi and this particular application to make reports um, that the end user can quickly view. What, what we'll do is uh, make a one page, um, the whole record and the whole demographic record and all the related table records as well. So uh, we'll do that in a future tutorial. And I thank you guys for staying with me again. I'm Robert Davis. If you liked it, uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, if you will. And uh, leave questions or comments. I'm always happy to get those if you want. And I can reply pretty much in real time. So, Because I get an email as soon as you leave a question or comment. So... Anyway, uh, you guys have a really good day today. It's Friday, the weekend's here. So, y'all take good care and God bless you and goodbye.